All right, what do we have here? I just scaled uh, after fueling, and I have a full load at Stratford, Missouri, at the TA, and this kind of, uh, this is how the receipt looks like. <laughs> it's not CAT certified, it's just like this. So basically, look, I got 12,260 pounds on the front axle, 260 pounds overweight, 32.3 on the drives, and 29.5 on the trailer. All right, so my total weight is this, and here's my empty uh, uh, scale receipt I, I made when I was fully fueled and empty. So to know the uh, weight of my load, I just have to deduct this uh, 31,500 from 74,100. I mean, sorry, it's 31,500. Yeah, from 34, from 74,100. Jesus. Okay, let's see how much. How heavy is my load? Seven four one zero zero minus three one five zero zero. Oh, forty two six hundred pounds. Jesus, that's quite heavy. Um, but anyway, so if I wait, I know from experience. If I wait, if I drive for uh, two hundred sixty miles, you lose about the one pound of fuel per mile. So in 260 miles I'll be legal, but it's just that I don't want to drive that long. You know, it's like four hours with some with the extra weight on my axle because my axle is rated only at 12,000. You know, so not only is it illegal, but you know, it just puts some extra stress on the axle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move the fifth wheel back. So I'm gonna apply all the brakes and slide the truck forward from under the fifth wheel so that more uh, weight will go here and then less weight will be here and here how you uh, move the fifth wheel now step one is release the parking brakes on the truck but keep the uh, trailer parking brakes on this would help uh, the truck to move smoother because sometimes it can be stuck at that, at the, like at that kind of tension and you won't be able to, uh, to slide. So step two is lowering your uh, landing gear. Now step three is uh, taking the pressure off the fifth wheel. So uh, dump the air from the air suspension on the truck. Start the truck, put it in lowest gear, and holding the brake, and I release the fifth wheel, and I just move, and I also I use my uh, you know spike, the trailer brake just in case, and I just move like a tiny inch, just as as soon as I hear that the the fifth wheel unlocks. See, it moved a little bit, so as soon as it did that, I, I lost the fifth wheel, and then I keep going forward. Oh. Now it locked. Now we can just check. Oh, basically, I'm at the very end now. See, this thing go any farther. This is the most, the rearmost position in my truck. That's why I was thinking of adding a rail here. You can do that so that you can slide it further, but I don't know. That's, that'll, that would cost about like, I don't know, five, six hundred bucks just to order part of this rail. And but anyway, so we moved it like that. And I know now my front uh, axle should be okay. But now we just... Uh, Add air to the truck again, right? And then when it reaches its uh, maximum, we can uh, lift, lift the landing gear. And of course, you have to make sure that your uh, pit wheel is locked, that the pins are out. And I can see that they're not 
not fully out. Yeah, they're not. They're supposed to be a little bit outside of the rail, so I know that I'll just have to apply the brake and shake the truck a little bit, you know, uh, front, uh, go front and, and, and back, and that's it. Of course, you have to remember to, uh, you know, lift your landing gear. Don't drive like that. That's how you move the fifth wheel. Take care.